Hey everyone, we're diving into the heart of the Pacific Northwest, the one and only Seattle, Washington. From the hustle and bustle of Pike Place Market, to the birthplace of Starbucks, to jaw-dropping views from the Space Needle, we've got an epic adventure lined up just for you. Ready to see how we spent our week? Let's go. We just touched down in beautiful da, 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 Seattle. Seattle. Yeah. We made it. We made it. So we are about to spend the next week in Seattle, Washington, doing all the touristy things and bringing that feedback to you so you know what to do when you come here. a quick shortcut through Pike's Place Market on our way to the aquarium and it is a beautiful Saturday morning to be at the market hence why you can see all these people behind me getting their shopping done. Seattle is built on seven hills making it quite a hilly city to navigate. It is named after a Native American chief who was known for making alliances with the early settlers and his peaceful ways. In 1889, a massive fire burned down 25 blocks of downtown Seattle. Surprisingly, no one died in the fire. Instead, they rebuilt an entirely new city one level above the old one, creating a network of underground tunnels that remain. Seattle is not located in a rainforest, but it is relatively close to one. Seattle is in the Puget Sound region, which has a temperate climate characterized by mild wet winters and dry summers. It's more known for frequent drizzles rather than heavy downpours. Despite its rainy reputation, Seattle doesn't actually rank among the top 10 rainiest cities in the US. The Seattle Aquarium opened on May 20th, 1977, which makes it over 40 years old. Since opening, it has become one of the largest aquariums in the United States. They focus on local marine life that are found in the waters of Puget Sound and the Pacific Northwest, such as otters, harbor seals, and various fish species. It has a massive viewing window that is nicknamed the Great Hall. It gives you an up-close view of the 120,000 gallon tank and is one of the largest viewing windows in the world. Their exhibits encourage hands-on learning through tide pool touch tanks, complete with sea stars, anemones, and other native coastal creatures. Lastly, the aquarium focuses on conservation through an annual octopus release and coral propagation program that promotes biodiversity in the ocean. Yeah, this aquarium is a little bit smaller than the ones we're accustomed to going to. Yeah, but it's still nice. I just like how everybody's riding bikes out here. I want to rent one and ride it. Okay. Yeah. Hungry. Let's eat. Ready. Oh my gosh. We've been sitting walking around for a while, so we are hungry. Especially Camille.
For meat lovers who care about quality, Great State Burger is your go-to spot for a fun, fast, casual experience. They're all about simple, classic burgers made with the finest ingredients sourced from the best local providers. With a focus on a few standout menu items and a welcoming laid-back vibe, Great State Burger delivers a delicious experience you can feel good about. So after a much needed nap, we are back out in the streets. As you can see, the sun is starting to go down and Aaron has convinced me to do something that I am not so sure about. Aaron, what are we doing? It's a ghost tour. Oh gosh. It is, I don't think it's that bad. It is a ghost tour, but we get the drink. So, you know, we have some, what do you call them? Libations? That's right. What you call them? Liquid courage. So pray for me. Hopefully I come back alive. So as you can see, Camille was too scared to sit there and actually record our ghost bar crawl. But I'm just gonna jump right to the end. What an adventure. We literally just finished this ghost tour and Aaron's going to take selfies where one of the ghosts may live. We'll see what happens. Me, I'm sitting alone in a booth hoping that no ghost comes and talks to me. So the tour guide said take some pictures in the mirror and you might see something. So if you do, drop a comment below and we'll check it out further. Good morning. Good morning. So we decided to venture out on this chilly Sunday morning to go visit Snoqualmie Falls in, I guess it's Snoqualmie Falls, Washington. Yep. Um, we just finished looking over at the first viewpoint and there's like three different waterfalls here in this area, but it's really beautiful out here. I mean, fresh. it's like crisp air, it's cool, it's tons of trees. There's still snow on the mountains, even in the end of March, which is like, crazy for us in Georgia where it's like 70 some degrees, but we're excited to see this next lookout. The no such thing. After finishing up at Snoqualmie, we drove back to the city to meet up with my cousin Christopher, who's been living in Seattle for a few years. He decided to give us a local guided walking tour of all the sites. So now we are down by the waterfront and admiring just the scenery, uh, the great architecture they have here. And we are on our way to go see some, I don't know, our tour guide is taking some undisclosed location. And we don't know, so we're about to find out. It's a surprise! Huh. The Z -West access, that's the Z -access. Christopher, say hi for the camera. Hi. <laughs> I tell you what, when you come visit Seattle, you better have your walking shoes. Because these hills and these stairs are no joke. Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful overcast day here in- a Little nippy, a little nippy. Seattle, Washington. It is, they're just coming into spring. They're flirting with the idea of spring. 
But we've got a food tour scheduled for this morning where we get to explore the market with a chef and really get some of the insider scoop on where you need to check out. So stay tuned, we'll give you all of our recommendations. So let's ready. Got Starbucks, but it's not at the original one. We kind of went to the original one. We stayed in the line, realized the line wasn't moving too fast. We have a tour. It's about 30 minutes. So with that, let's just go into a different coffee shop. Walked down the street, found another one that was right around the corner, across the street from where our chair was, and there was no line. So that original Starbucks coffee line is probably like a 30, 45 minute wait. And we didn't have the time to wait. So we cheated and went somewhere else. Chef John Brinks' food tour, known as Tasty Tours, offers an insider's experience of Pike Place Market in Seattle. As a chef market insider with over 30 years of experience, Chef John takes guests through the market's hidden gems, award-winning vendors, and artisans while sharing fascinating stories about its history, architecture, and local food culture. The tour is highly rated for its in-depth knowledge and the unique opportunity to engage with market vendors directly. Chef John's tours are designed to offer a personal, behind-the-scenes look at Pike Place Market. From the famous fishmongers to local bakeries and cafes, the tour highlights only the best of what the market has to offer. Visitors also get to enjoy tastings from several market staples, such as fresh seafood, artisan cheeses, and delicious baked goods, making it a must-do for food lovers visiting Seattle. If you're looking for an authentic taste of Seattle's rich food culture, Chef John's Tasty Tours is an excellent choice, blending food, history, and local charm into a memorable experience. So we're standing here in front of Post Alley and when I tell you that food market tour was amazing, you absolutely need to do the one with Chef John. He has grown up in the market and when I tell you he knew all the ins and outs, I mean we were in that place like amazing. And all the people. He knew all the people. He does know everybody. He does know everybody. So five stars to him. Absolutely check out Chef John on the Meet the Market tour where he gives you the insider view of Pike's Place Market. We'll put his stuff in the description below so check it out absolutely so we just walked by and seen the gum wall completely disgusting all the gum that was there on the wall they power wash it people still come put their hands on it and just sticking <laughs> Bye. Social media duty. It's a nice day. What do you think, babe? Leg life? Yeah, we can do some something like that. You gonna learn how to drive the boat? I don't know how to drive the boat. Let me drive the boat. Oh, right, you drive the boat. Ooh, look at these ships. Nestled right in the heart of Seattle, Lake Union is a vibrant urban oasis that blends the city's rich maritime history with modern recreational charm. Whether you're kayaking, sailing, or just strolling along the waterfront, Lake Union offers a unique view of Seattle's skyline and is home to some of the city's most iconic floating homes. From seaplanes to sailboats, there's always something happening on this lively lake that connects locals and visitors to the natural beauty of the Pacific Northwest. So we are just leaving this cute bar called Tapster that we just kind of stumbled upon. 
and the concept is that you pour your own drinks so they give you this chip card that you link with a card of your choice and they charge you by the ounce but they have like 59 different things on tap so it was cider and ipas and i think like stouts and craft soda and seltzer but it was a really awesome concept yeah like the only thing that would have made it better if they actually had some like bar food like some wings some pretzels they did i think they had like dip pretzels and some pizza yeah but, and they had like chips um they also had board games and swings and a giant tic-tac-toe so if you want to go hang out with your friends just you know chill after work i don't know it's a really good place but now we're gonna go find the amazon spheres and grab some dinner and that's a wrap for the first three days of our trip We've had such an incredible time exploring Seattle, but we're only just getting started. In the next video, we'll be diving into Seattle City Center, visiting the Capitol, Gasworks Park, and so much more. Trust me, you do not want to miss it. If you've enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you'll be the first to know when part two drops. Have any thoughts or questions? Leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to check them out. Thanks again for joining us on this adventure and we'll see you in part two.